Mega Man 11 demo came out. I played it. Here are my suggestions. Number one, get rid of lives. Lives are pointless and annoying. Everyone hates them. But Rayman Origins proved that hard games are made 200% more fun if you just get rid of lives. This is a scientific fact. The arbitrary requirement of having to get through an entire stage within a certain number of tries as opposed to just tackling each challenge on their own with, you know, with checkpointing, it's fucking bullshit because back in the day, lives existed in arcade games so that you had limited tries and you gave them more money. And in old games, they existed to extend playtime. So they don't fucking need to exist anymore. Everyone knows that Mega Man games are short. Everyone's okay with short games. If you fucking complain about a game being too short, you're a fucking moron. Get lives out of Mega Man. And you can tell that they specifically limited them because you can only have nine at a time. It's retarded. Limiting the number of E-Tanks you have? That makes sense. Limiting the number of lives you have so that, you know, you beat, you prove to the game you can beat every challenge, but then you are punished if you don't beat the current challenge within a certain number of tries, and many tries you have left, you are then forced to complete all of the challenges you already fucking did over again. It's a pain in the ass and everyone hates it. Just get rid of lives. Number two, Mega Buster shot, I have a list. Mega Buster shot limit. Uh, in this game, I feel like a lot of people, um, whether or not they uh, talk about it in their impressions of the demo, I feel like a lot of people are going to feel as if the controls just feel a little off. Um, and yeah, I don't know if other Mega Man games function functioned like this, but I figured out why it is. I did a little bit of experimenting. Um, Mega Man's Mega Buster works like Ryu's Hadouken in Street Fighter, where only only one Hadouken can be on screen at a time in Street Fighter. And in in Mega Man 11, only three Mega Buster shots can be on screen at a time. So if you are in the center of the screen, you have a kind of slow but mostly consistent kind of rate of fire. Um, if you are right up next to an enemy, and then you and you're just loading into them, then you have super rapid fire, and there's no limit because your shots are instantly disappearing. And if you're on the left side of the screen, facing the right side, and if you're mashing the button, he'll let out three pellets, and then it'll be like a whole half second where you are completely defenseless, and it feels shitty. It's only a half second. But that makes the difference of not being able to do your one attack. It sucks. It doesn't feel good. It feels inconsistent. It feels weird. It feels arbitrary. It feels random. I don't know why they didn't... I don't know why they let him let out three super quick shots and then making you fucking wait, depending on your fucking current position of the screen and what direction you're facing, as opposed to just letting you have a like a slower more balanced rate of fire in general and get rid of like the shots per screen cap bullshit it's dumb uh number three rush coil so this is a uh this this is basically a request to completely remap part of the control scheme of the game and i know that's kind of weird but this would seriously help the game. So the interesting thing is that the X button, because I played it on the Switch, uh, the X button has you do the rush coil, where a rush shows up. Um, if you have one of the special Robot Master weapons equipped, um, Mega Man will switch back to his base form in order to summon the rush coil. So the rush coil is tied to Mega Man's base form. So in a, And it has limited ammo, like the special weapons do, so, in a sense, you could say that Rush Coil is base Mega Man's special weapon. And so, this made me think, how about, instead of the special Robot Master weapons replacing the Mega Buster, how about you have the Mega Buster 
equipped at all times and you can use it no matter what special weapon you have equipped and you just use the special weapon, your limited ammo, limited resources weapon on X, like the rush coil. That makes sense, doesn't it? It would make sense that you would want your your weapon that has unlimited ammo available to you at all times so that you don't arbitrarily just kill a bunch of enemies that don't even have a particular weakness to the weapon just because you happen to have it equipped and you don't feel like unequipping it. Because sometimes enemies get stingy with reloading your ammo. So I feel like that would just make the game feel a little bit more graceful in general. So yeah, get rid of lives. Uh, fucking change the Mega Buster. And then have the special weapons be mapped to X, all of them. Like the Rush Coil. So that you can have the Mega Buster, your unlimited ammo weapon, your base form weapon, your old reliable, available at all times. That's basically it. Uh, I'll briefly touch upon criticisms that I had that uh, I don't think necessitate tweaks, but they're just things that kind of annoyed me. Uh, there's currency in the demo that you can collect, despite there being no shop. It's just Blockman stage, which is weird. Um, I immediately just turned the voices off because I think the idea of a game, like an, an intentionally old school game, like Octopath Traveler or Mega Man 11, having voices, I think it's weird and antithetical. Like, who wants to hear voice acting in Mega Man, like old school Mega Man? Who was acting for, asking for voices in Octopath Traveler? It has fucking, it's like a Final Fantasy VI type game. Like, who cares if it has voices or not? It doesn't fucking add anything. It fucking, it, it, as a matter of fact, it detracts because it, it clashes with the old school aesthetic. Um, this is kind of a minor complaint, but uh, there's a little bit of weird input delay whenever uh, Mega Man gets onto a letter, like there's a little transition animation of him boarding the ladder. And in the old games, he would just instantly snap onto the ladder and that felt way better. And in this game, it feels kind of sluggish, especially when you're trying to escape from an enemy and you would have done it in the old games and it sucks. And obviously, uh, you might have heard about Gate Gate, where people are complaining about how when you jump through the Robot Master door, it doesn't feel the exact same. Uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. That would be cool if they fixed that, but that was honestly the least of my thoughts, honestly. I didn't... I wasn't all that invested in it. Although I do understand the people who were kind of upset by that. Uh, but yeah. It's getting loud up in here. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna fucking turn the camera off. Goodbye.